All right, this is the coolest motherboard I've seen in a long time. It's got the latest and greatest technology. Stay tuned, I'm gonna show it to you in just a second. All right, so what you're looking at is the P6X58 Premium uh, by Asus, and this is like a next-gen motherboard. You can't deny it. This thing is ready for the future. If you want to be future-proof, uh, there is nothing more future-proof than this. This has two brand spanking new technologies, and it's got support for processors that are not even out yet. Uh, so let's talk about this incredible motherboard. First of all, it looks really cool right off the bat. You can tell this is not uh, your mother's motherboard. It is a very high-end motherboard. Uh, does support triple SLI. It supports four-way crossfire. So if you want to do those new 5970s in quad fire, this is the board for you. Now, what really makes it special, though, is two new protocols, one for USB and one for SATA, and they are much, much, much faster. First of all, USB 3.0, wow, extremely fast. It's faster than the old SATA. That means that you can plug in a USB hard drive and transfer stuff over at 600 megabytes per second. Very, very fast. It's 4.8 gigabit per second. The second new thing is right here. This is SATA 6, uh, 6 gigabit per second, so this is equivalent to uh, SATA 3. It's twice as fast as SATA 2, which is 3 gigabits per second. This is 6 gigabits per second. Now, it's important to note that uh, this stuff really isn't necessary just yet. Uh, the new hard drives and the new SSDs aren't that fast, but uh, some of the really, really, really fast SSDs, uh, like the X25e and X25m, are getting pretty close to the theoretical bandwidth limit of the SATA 2 port, the 3 gigabit per second port, and that's what that 6 gigabit per second port is designed for. The next gen stuff that's going to come is going to be really fast. Um, now, there's a lot of new SSDs that were taking advantage of PCI Express interface, uh, and that's because they were running out of bandwidth in the SATA 2. Now they have this to play with. That's going to give you a huge amount of more bandwidth. It's literally doubling the bandwidth. That means that things can get twice as fast. Uh, and literally there's not going to be any problems transferring that information from the hard drive uh, to the hard drive controller and into the chip, into the processor. So very, very cool stuff. Um, now, this is an X58 board. Keep in mind, it does have the X58 Northbridge and it does have the ICH-10R Southbridge. So they have um, definitely adapted the new uh, SATA 6 gigabit per second ports to the ICH-10R Southbridge chipset. Um, so that is interesting to know that they didn't have to modify anything, that it still works natively, uh, and that's pretty cool actually. Now this thing also offers you just about every type of RAID functionality. It's uh, got 6, 1, 5, and 10, uh, which is 1 plus 0. And you also have, just so you know, uh, you do have the older SATA 2 ports right here. You have six of them in total, and then you have two of these uh, SATA 6 gigabit per second. And you have two more right here. So it's not like you're running on only 6 gigabit per second SATA. Besides that, you can run uh, up to 24 gigabytes of memory. This is a X58 chipset, so it is triple channel DDR3 memory, up to 2,000 megahertz with overclocking, or if you want to run native memory, something with a, uh, like an extreme memory profile, it will do up to 1,600 megahertz. Now, this board from Asus has the mem OK button. I don't know if you've heard about that, uh, but basically, it's right here. It's a little button. And basically, if you have memory that doesn't seem to want to post on the computer, doesn't want to start up, doesn't want to work properly, you hit the Mem OK button, and it's going to run through a little program that's built into the BIOS. It's going to change the latencies, it's going to change the frequencies, and it's going to make it so that no matter what, it's going to get you into the OS so that it, from there, or into the BIOS, so from there you can change the settings manually uh, and make sure that your memory is going to work. So very, very cool little feature. Uh, you know, Asus motherboards do have their qualified vendor lists and they're a little bit annoying. Sometimes you have older memory, it doesn't work with the new motherboard. Uh, you know, it might be DDR3, but for some reason it doesn't want to boot up. Well, this is going to take care of that. And then once you're into the BIOS or you're into the OS, you can kind of mess with your settings, change your latencies, and make sure that it absolutely works. Now, let's talk a little bit about video cards and graphics and all that good stuff, because there's a lot of that on here. You have three PCI Express X16 2.0 ports, uh, which if you want to run three-way SLI or, or, or Crossfire, you're going to run X16, X8, X8, uh, or you can run X16, X16, X1. Now, on top of that, you do have uh, two standard PCIs, and right up here at the top, you do have a uh, PCI Express X1 uh, for a sound card or whatnot right there. Uh, also, as far as power goes in this thing, I want to show you guys uh, right around here around the chipset, I mean, I'm sorry, around the uh, CPU socket, which is, again, 1366, uh, you have very nice power setup, okay? Very nice cooling for your MOSFETs and for your VRMs. This is 16 plus two-phase power, so it's got 16 phases for the CPU, two phases for the memory, which is extremely... Uh, extremely important as well to have good power going to your memory for overclocking. Uh, if you're into overclocking, getting lots of bandwidth from your memory, that's how you're going to do it. You're going to have to run clean power to your memory to get above 2,000 megahertz with your Corsair Dominator GT uh, memory. So very, very nice that it has that. Also, uh, important to note down here at the bottom, it does have your 
Uh, very usual stuff that you see on high-end premium motherboards. It has a power button, has a reset button. It's also important to note right over here, these are two USB 2.0 ports, headers, uh, so you can connect those to give you an additional four USB 2.0 ports uh, if you want to use the back panel connector that they provide or if you want to hook it up to your front panel. It's really up to you. Uh, now, let's take a look at the back. Lots of good stuff on the back over here. First of all, I'm going to show you. you got two PS2s here for your keyboard and mouse. Those are kind of legacy items. These are your two USB 3.0. Oh, wow, really awesome. 4.8 gigabit per second, so very fast, up to 600 megabytes per second. SP diff, both the analog and the digital. You have four USB 2.0 ports right here, uh, as well as dual gigabit Ethernet, and then a Firewire right in the middle. And then right over here, you have eight channel HD audio with a very nice uh, chipset. It's the uh, ALC889A, which is a very nice high end chipset. And uh, I also want you guys to know that the uh, USB 3.0 is also USB 2.0 backwards compatible. So you can plug in a USB 2.0. So it's not like you're only getting uh, four USB 2.0s. You still have six on the back. So it is backwards compatible, which is really, really nice. So uh, that's also nice to know. And then besides that, all the typical features that you'd expect from an ASUS motherboard, all that good stuff like um, ExpressGate, that little Linux based operating system that can get you into, get you on the web or sending an email in less than five seconds without having to turn on Windows, uh, that is available. All the little things, the BIOS updates and the Q connectors and the Q shields and all that good stuff that you expect, that list of features that all ASUS premium motherboards come with, uh, that's also going to be on here, so don't forget about that. Uh, you do get a padded Q shield, input output shield, so basically uh, it's padded on the back, stops vibration, stops electromagnetic interference. Uh, and it's also labeled, looks really nice. You get the Q connectors for your front panel, very convenient. Uh, a nice fan for your Northbridge chipset, or for your VRMs actually. Uh, remember, X58 does have a Northbridge, does get pretty hot, uh, so you gotta keep that in mind. Crossfire X con connector, uh, three-way SLI connector, not something you usually see. Uh, this is your eSATA and your USB 2.0 back panel connectors, and then you have SATA cables, just a bunch and there's a bunch of drivers and manuals and a bunch of other good stuff on here. So very, uh, very, very nice uh, motherboard. This is very, very high end. And the final, uh, how do you say it in French? The pièce de résistance. The best part about this thing is that if you're hardcore and you're going to build a nasty workstation or you're going to build something that you want to be future-proof forever, this supports my favorite processor on the planet. It's not even out yet. It's the Gulf Town from Intel. It's the uh, six-core 32NM. CPU with an Inhalum architecture. This motherboard's ready for it. If you want to buy a Gulf Town in the near future, if you're making a workstation, a video editing station, you want that high-end horsepower, that multi-threaded power uh, with hyper-threading and all that good stuff, this board will support it natively now. Uh, there's rumors right now that all 1366 boards will support it, but it's unsure. This one, it's stated, says it. It's you know guaranteed by ASUS, so I love that it does support that CPU because I will be getting it. If you have not seen that CPU, it overclocks like crazy. It runs on almost uh, as much power as an older Core 2 uh, Duo or Core 2 Quad because it's a 32NM. It, I mean, it's just incredibly powerful. So, uh, really cool board. It's the P6X58D Premium uh, from Asus. If you have any questions on it, feel free to email me as always, and I'll see you guys next time. If you want to get some more information on the Asus P6X58D Premium motherboard, go to com.pewter.tv and type in P6X58D into the search box. For Computer TV, I'm Albert.